Back in the 80s, Iron Maiden was singing about Fear of the Dog. Now, if we turn this little twist the other way, we call it Love of the Dog. And that's what it's the case with the Polish band Nyctophilia, which literally means the love of dog, love for the dog, love of darkness, and so forth. Now, this band has been there only a few years, but already made a, quite a few albums. And uh, being a one-man project, I guess these kind of a so-called bedroom black metal projects are kind of a easy, uh, you know, to finish the albums and all that stuff when you're just alone there to do your magic. Um, so here we have um, album after another. There was previously uh, one album featured on Rauda earlier this year. That was 2018 release. Now it's 2019 release. It's actually September. 2019 release, so quite fresh. Also um, released by Wolf Spell Records from Poland. So there you have it. And this is the booklet and the only words that are basically written here. So no lyrics whatsoever. Those of you who are unfamiliar with the band, well, I'll try to describe it to you in a way of uh, what this music is then. Now, Nyctophilia is raw black metal. That is the basic core essence of the whole band. Being a one-man band, it's not so much riff-driven and kind of a band-oriented black metal, but more like uh, creation of dark, very, very dark music with some raw production. Now, within the, uh, this album called Bezden, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but bear with me, uh, this is kind of a combination of bursum like that is the prison era uh, synth albums. So lots of kind of a lo-fi keyboards, very simple, and then those really raw and dark black metal riffs. Now when these two are put together, becomes Nyctophilia. And it's mostly, mostly, mostly just good. But it's also a little bit um, hard to always to get to the right mood of what this composer, the mastermind of the band, has been trying to put us through. Because there's a huge contrast between the music, that is, the different ideas here. While on the other hand, these keyboard-oriented parts are more or less kind of what Burzum was doing, so that is kind of a soothing music. Also dark at the same time. Well, these raw black metal riffs are more violent in nature, and uh, they are quite... I don't know, not necessarily only violent, but raw and kind of a primitive, in-your-face kind of stuff. So, for example, when we take a look at this uh, majestic, dark picture, which then again fits the band name just properly, I think this is very much more into the kind of a melancholic sense of these uh, keyboard parts. So, definitely more into the atmospheric side. But then it, when it was suddenly just like that, transition to this raw riff side it's just just like not maybe overwhelming but it's maybe a little bit too much i'm not saying this is a bad album by no means this is definitely a good album but compared to the one that came out in 2018 i, I would say this is a little bit weaker compared to that definitely worth listening though because i don't know there's something magical with this really raw and also um very dark music with which Nyctophilia is putting out. Just um, a little bit chewing is needed when kind of uh, going through from the keyboard part to the raw riffing and back and forth. But there you have it. I strongly suggest you will give this a glimpse and listen, uh, especially if you are into raw and also atmospheric black metal. Kind of a hard combination, but not too tough uh, to crack. So there you have it. Go check it out and hope you enjoy it. 